Welcome to a Pilates workout. My name is Marissa. Let's start by standing up. We'll place our feet hip width apart. It's about five, six inches apart and the feet are parallel to each other. Stand up nice and tall and broaden across your collarbone. Gently close your eyes and just pause for a moment. With your eyes gently closed and your mouth gently closed, let your awareness settle around your breathing. Spend a little bit more time watching your exhale, emptying out. And just by watching your exhale, maybe your inhale begins to elongate and stretch out to match the exhale. Keep this awareness of your breathing like it's our foundation. Like everything we do will be layered upon this connection to your breathing. Then gently separate your eyelashes to open your eyes. Clasp your hands in front of you and turn your palms away. Then turn your palms towards yourself and bring your palms together in front of your heart in a prayer-like position. Take your right hand right below your belly button, below your navel, and have that hand pushing in and up. Take your left hand behind you to your sacrum, to that triangle, triangle bony portion behind you, and have that hand pushing in and down. So your front hand, right hand, pushing in and up, back hand, left hand, pushing in and down. Imagine as if you were zipping up a tight pair of jeans, that you're connecting to your core, that you're hugging into your center. Breathe here. Keep this foundation of your breathing and this connection to your core as we move on. Lower your hands down by your side and bend your knees. Put your hands on your thighs and hug your elbows in. Look up to the ceiling as you inhale, arch your spine. Look into your belly as you exhale and round. Do it three more times. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Do it two more times. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Do that one more time. Inhaling, arching, looking up. Exhaling, rounding, looking in. Stay rounding, looking in, and then drop your hands outside of your feet as you deeply bend your knees. Drop your head and straighten your legs as best you can, doesn't have to be 100%, and then re-bend your knees on the exhale. Do it three more times. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, re-bend. Two more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, re-bend. One more. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, re-bend. Put your hands on your thighs and then push off your thighs. Come to stand up. Take your arms out to a T formation. Your palms are face down. Keep your feet hip width apart, parallel to each other, those five, six inches apart. Keep your hips facing forward, but twist your upper body to your right. Look back at your right hand, then look forward at your left hand. Keep your hip bones facing forward, the right hip bone coming forward towards the wall out in front of you. Return back to center with T-shaped arms. Keep your hips facing forward to the wall out in front of you as you twist your upper body and arms to the left. Look back to your left hand. Keep that left hip bone reaching forward to the front wall. Look forward to your right hand. Return arms in a T. Circle your arms forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle your arms backwards. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Pause here. Turn your palms out like stop signs and then flatten your palms towards the floor. Three more stop signs and flatten the palms to the floor. Two more stop signs and flatten. One more stop signs and flatten. Clasp your hands at your low back, interlace your fingers and send your shoulders up and backwards. Find space across your chest, like there's a broadening across your collarbone. Lift yourself up and back, stretch here, breathe here. Come forward and all the way down to the ground with the crown of your head. Your knuckles reach towards the sky and forward towards the wall out in front of you. Breathe here. Release your hands outside of your feet. Bend your knees. Take your right knee to the ground behind you. Take your left knee to the ground behind you. Plant your hands flat. Look up to the ceiling, arch your spine. Look into your belly, round your spine. Do it three more times. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Do it two more times. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Do it one more time. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Come to a neutral spine, it's a flat back. Come up onto high finger pads as if there was a cupcake under each hand. Step your right foot outside your right pinky finger. Make this bone to bone connection of right arm and right knee touching each other. Take your left arm straight up to the sky. Look up to see your thumb. Feel a stretch across your chest. Let's take this left arm and scoop it under the right arm and then lift it back up. We'll do it seven more times. Scoop it under and up. Three under and up, four under, and up, five under, and up, six under, and up, seven under, and up, eight under, and up. Turn your palm forward, reach your arm over your ear to the front wall. Feel a stretch on this whole left side of you. Breathe here. On an exhale, lower this left hand down to high finger pads. Take both hands outside of your right pinky toe as if you're holding a shoebox on the short edge of a shoebox. Come up with your elbows close into your waist as you twist to your left. Let's do it seven more times. You're coming up and twisting. Three up and twist. Four up and twist. Five up and twist. Six up and twist. Seven up and twist. Eight up and twist. Stay in the twist, pause here. Staying upright, return to center. Reach your arms to the ceiling, hook your thumbs, arc backwards, stretch here that your front knee and your hips come forward as your torso and arms go backwards. Stretch here, breathe here. Keep your thumbs hooked, come up. Come forward and down to high finger pads. Your hands are inside of your front foot. There's still that bone to bone connection, right arm and right knee. Plant your hands flat and return your right knee to the ground behind you. Your hands are shoulder distance apart. Your knees are hip width apart. Your feet are in line with your knees and your toes are tucked. Look up to the ceiling as you inhale, arch your spine. Look into your belly as you exhale and round. Three more. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Two more. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. One more. Inhale, arch and look up. 
Exhale, round and look in. Return to a neutral spine, a flat back. Come up onto high finger pads. Step your left foot outside your left pinky finger. Make that bone to bone connection, arm and knee. Take your right arm straight up to the sky. Look up to see your thumb. Spread your fingers wide apart. Inhale here. Exhale, scoop this right arm under the left. Two up and scoop. Three up and scoop. Four up and scoop. Five up and scoop. Six up and scoop. Seven up and scoop. Eight up and scoop. This time, stay on this side with the right shoulder gliding off of your back. Like you're finding a little bit more breathing room across your back. Then reach that right arm to the sky. Lift both arms up, hook your thumbs, arc backwards, stretch here. The front knee and the hips moving forward. The torso and arms arcing backwards. Take both hands to the sky, the hands shoulder distance apart. Take both hands outside your left pinky toe as if you're holding the short edge of a shoebox. Come up with your elbows close to your waist and twist to your right. We'll do it seven more times. Two, twist, and come down. Three, twist, and come down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay in the twist, pause here, breathe here. Then just return to center. Take the hands straight out ahead of you. Bring your palms together. Your prayer hands come in front of your heart. Let's return this left knee under us. We'll tuck the toes. From here, reach your arms to the ceiling. Separate your hands shoulder distance apart. As if you were tethered to a stiff board, lean backwards and come up without dropping your head. Lean backwards so you don't want to shorten the back of your neck and come up. Two more. Go backwards and up. One more. Go backwards. Stretch here. Linger here. Getting length in the back of your neck as you look up to the sky. Rise up. Take your arms to a T formation. Swivel to the right, but keep your hip points facing forward and return to center. It's like what we did when we were standing up. Do it three more times. To the right and center. Two more. To the right and center. One more. To the right and center. Let's do it to the left. Left and center. Three more. Left and center. Two more. Left and center. One more. Left and center. Lower your hands down by your side. Shrug your shoulders up, back, and down. Three more. Up, back, and down. Two more. Up, back, and down. One more. Up, back, and down. Let's come down onto our backs. I'm going to give you the side view. So you're coming down onto your elbows. Your heart is lifting up. Your feet are set hip width apart and parallel. The knees are that same hip width apart and parallel. Look between your knees. It's kind of like you're gazing up on an angle as you lift your heart. Breathe here. And then lower yourself down so the back of your head comes to the mat or comes to the floor. Your hands come down by your side. Let's come to an easy bridge. Walk your feet a little bit closer to your sitting bones. Your feet are that hip width apart. Lift your hips up. Keep your hands palms face down, shoulder width apart, but walk your shoulders onto your back, snuggling your shoulders to give you a sturdier foundation that you're pushing down into the back of your head 
and into your shoulders. Breathe here. Lower yourself down. Take your right leg straight up to the sky and point your foot. Keep your butt down. Tap your right big toe to your left knee and lift up. Do two sets of eight. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. Do it again. Eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up. Now keep this leg lifted. Walk your right foot closer to your right sitting bone so you have leverage to now lift your hips up. Keep your hips lifted with the shoulders snuggled under you. Tap your right big toe to your left knee. Another two sets with your butt lifted. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, again, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Let's keep the leg lifted and the butt lifted while the leg is up. But when we tap the opposite knee, we'll lower our hips down. So we'll tap and lower, lift and lift. Two sets. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, again, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Let's stay lifted, pause here, breathe here. Let's imagine that the ceiling is made of paper and we're gonna poke holes in the paper ceiling. So you're gonna lift your hips up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause here, breathe here. Flex your foot, lower the straight leg only halfway down. The two knees are in line with each other. Bend your knee and step the foot down. Lower yourself down to the ground. In between, let's go to a happy baby pose. Your knees go wide, your feet go wide, your hands hold the outsides of your feet and your arms are leveraged on the inside of your legs. See if you can find not only length in your spine, but width, that more surface area of your butt is coming down to the ground. Breathe here. Zip the legs together and then take the knees into the chest, flex the feet. Have your hands on your knees, right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee. Lift your head, your neck, your shoulders up. Breathe here, the bottom tips of your shoulder blades, the scapula off the ground. Lower yourself down, take your hands down by your side. Take your legs straight up to the sky, flex your feet. Separate your feet just a couple of inches apart and then bring them back together. A couple of inches apart and together. Two more apart and together. One more apart and together. Let's take the feet a couple of inches apart and keep them there. Bend your knees and step your feet down onto the wood. Walk your feet close to your butt. Your feet remain that hip width apart. Lift your butt up. Snuggle your shoulders onto your back. Breathe here. Lower your upper back to the ground, mid back, low back, butt to the ground. Stay down on the ground. Take your left leg straight up to the sky, point your foot. Tap this left big toe to the opposite knee and lift it back up two sets. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, 
up, seven, up, eight, again, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up, lift your butt up, keep your butt lifted the entire time, two sets of tapping and lifting, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, again, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Now while your leg is lifted, your butt is lifted, when you tap the opposite knee, lower your butt. One down and up, two sets. Two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, again, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one. Stay lifted. Imagine if the ceiling was made of paper and we're going to poke holes in the ceiling with our left big toe. Let's try it. Two sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep the leg lifted. Flex your foot. Lower the straight leg down so it's in line with the opposite knee. The knees are hip width apart. Bend your knee, step your foot down onto the wood. Lift your hips higher, breathe here. Breath comes, breath goes. Lower yourself down, take your right knee into your chest. Clasp your hands over your right shin, interlacing the fingers. Flex your right foot. Lengthen your left leg long away from you. Flex your left foot. Lift your left foot two inches off the ground. Lift your head, your neck, your shoulders. Look into your belly. Get your bra line or the bottom tips of your shoulder blades off the ground. As you stay lifted, take that left leg straight up to the sky and then back within two inches off the ground. Two sets. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, again, eight, down, seven, down, six, down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down. One. Do I have any hardcore Pilates people out there that will do the next two sets on the opposite leg, but we won't lower our head down? Let's try it. Bend both knees into the chest. Lift yourself up a little bit higher. Interlace your fingers over your left shin. Take your right leg straight up to the sky. Flex your foot. Lower this leg down. It's within two inches off the ground. The left knee coming very close to you. Lift your upper body up a little bit higher. Two sets of lifting the right leg up and down within two inches off the ground. Two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, again, eight, down, seven, down, six, down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one. Take both knees into the chest. Lift yourself up a little bit higher. Take the knees in a little bit closer. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. Take your hands down by your side, your palms face down, close to your hips. Take your legs straight up to the sky. You're zipping your legs together, and at first your feet are flexed. But then point your feet and keep your feet pointed. And then crisscross your ankles and keep crisscrossing your ankles. 
crisscrossing, crisscrossing, crisscrossing. Let's stay crisscrossing and we'll lower the legs halfway down. Then crisscross and come back up. Let's do it three more times. Crisscross, go halfway down. Crisscross, come back up. Do it two more times. Crisscrossing, going halfway down. Crisscrossing, coming up. Do it one more time. Crisscross, go down. Crisscross, come up. Right up at the top, flex your feet. Separate your feet a few inches apart. Bend your knees and step your feet down onto the mat. Lift your butt up. Snuggle your shoulders onto your back. Breathe here. Breath comes. Breath goes. Lower yourself down. Cross your legs. Come up onto your elbows. And then walk your, oh, onto your elbows and then onto your hands. And then walk your hands forward and stretch forward. Breathe here. You stay folded forward. Your legs are crossed. You're reaching yourself forward.